Hello and welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support Knowledge Based Videos. Today I'm going to be talking about how to run and use the Nearline SSA Validate script for the ILM Nearline for use with SAP uh, version 6.1 product. My name is George Klein. The agenda for this video is to talk about what is the SSA validate report and log that's generated from the script, uh, when you should use this uh, script, and uh, why, and then I'm going to show you an example of executing, executing the script and finding the generated log and report that the script creates. First of all, what is the SSA validate uh, script and the report and log that's generated from the script. Uh, the SSA validate uh, report checks the, uh, well it has many functions, but uh, it basically checks the consistency between the SAP BW uh, objects, the DAP objects, and what how it is stored in the metadata repository in the SAP Nearline side. Uh, you can also use the report to check the uh, the uh, integrity of the SCT files that contain the data that's been archived to Nearline from SAP VW. Uh, when should you use this report? Well, basically, you should use this report when uh, you run the consistency check report from the SAP BW uh, system, and that report shows some inconsistencies. If that report uh, the consistency report from SAP BW uh, shows inconsistencies, you should create a case with Informatica's global customer support at that time and give you, you know, show a screenshot or download of that uh, consistency check report. Uh, the customer support engineer may at that time request that you run the SSA validate script to get some more, get more information so that we can uh, determine what is the issue, what could be the cause of the issue, and how to uh, resolve the inconsistencies. So the best way to actually uh, show you this uh, script and the generated logs and report is to uh, provide you an example of doing so. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll go to my Unix system where I've logged on as an administrator. Uh, the first thing we want to do is go to our root directory of the Nearline product installation. So that's uh, sand underscore nlic and we are now there and the next thing we'd want to do is actually run the script. And you do that by just typing in SSA B A L I D A T E and then the parameters that go with the script. In this case I'm going to use the uh, least amount number of parameters in the, which would be the uh, minus A and that parameter says that you can run this report on an active uh, nearline system that the SNCC service has not been stopped. So the SNCC service is still running and you can run the SSA validate report. Uh, please do not use the uh, fix this command in fix mode that's with a parameter of F or D uh, unless a customer support engineer instructs you to do so. Um, there are also other uh, parameters that can be used with this report and you can reference them by accessing the uh, administration guide of the Nearline product. Uh, once again, do not use the F or D uh, or L actually uh, parameter unless instructed to do so by a customer support engineer. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute the script and you'll see the following. And a report is displayed on the screen. It's giving you some information at the top, uh, preparing the data, it's looking at some different things, the job ID list is okay, uh, and validating the metadata 
the uh, table level is okay, the uh, SCT file level is okay, and so forth. Now it's showing you some uh, some errors, and uh, it talks about the uh, SCT files that need to be deleted because they're orphaned, uh, and so forth. Shows the report is done. Uh, have some orphan SCT files, uh, and they're saying run program with the D or F flag to fix the the issue. But we recommend you do not do that until you have uh, the OK from a Informatica customer support engineer. When this report is executed, you not only get this. Uh, echo to the screen but you also get a report that uh, two reports actually you get the log of the SSA validate and you also get a report and if you do not put in the parameters to direct the report to be placed in a different directory uh, the default is in the TMP directory so let's go to the the TMP directory let's do a list first just to show you where it's at and uh, what did I do? LS LTR. And you'll see that they have a temp directory here. So we'll just underneath the send NLIC directory, the root directory. So we'll change to the temp. And we'll do a, another list. And here you'll see uh, an SSA validate log. And it'll have the uh, the timestamp so it starts with SSA validate then the timestamp dot log and you'll see that, that was run just a little while ago when I ran the SSA validate uh, script and then our report is also generated and with the top uh, saying report timestamp dot log so if we were to do a cat on say the report you get the following information and the customer when a customer support engineer requests you to run the SSA validate script they will ask you to provide them with those two reports the the actual SSA validate report and the SSA validate log once the customer support engineer has received that uh, those two uh, files then they can do some analysis on those files, uh, checking it with the consistency check report from the SAP side, and then provide you instructions as to uh, as to what to do next to resolve the uh, inconsistencies that uh, showed up in the consistency check report. Okay, and that's all there is to it. You can also reference more uh, information about the SSA validate script by looking at the uh, knowledge base article 1366740. That's if you have access to the Informatica My Support portal. And there is uh, additional information in the Informatica Nearline for us for you <coughs> use with SAP uh, version 61 uh, administration guide that uh, should be uh, that would be provided at the time of the uh, product download or you can uh, create a case with Informatica customer support requesting that uh, that uh, <coughs> document or you can also in the Informatic my Informatica support portal also find the documentation all the documentation for the nearline product well, that's the end of my presentation today. I hope, hopefully, it's been helpful. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. You can contact us at supportvideos at informatica.com or at our Twitter account at https twitter.com info support. Thank you and have a great day.